Murawai Beach is one of those west expanses that goes on for miles. If you're big on kites, then it's the place to be. What we discovered were a pack of crazies giving a new thrill and sophistication to the game. Hold on to your hat, Newlin. We're going in for a pasting. What we've got here is a thing called a buggy bash, which is basically you've got kite powered land yachts, a little thing here that you sit in and use some um, kites to pull yourself along. You can see out there there's lots of people going for it and it's basically just an informal competition. I've just got um, all the people that I know that own these things and just invited them out here on such a cracker of a day. And it's blowing 30 knots out here and it's low tide and it's absolutely incredible. We're hitting speeds like 60, 70 k an hour just launching along. Uh, well, we've been bugging since yesterday, but um, bugging has been around for probably six, seven years. But um, it's only just starting to take it now. I mean, critical point up in Auckland now, there was uh, sort of eight, sort of ten hardcore buggiers out there, and we sort of get together now and really start um, promoting it, just getting people interested in it. It's the silent power of it. It's absolutely incredible how powerful it is. So you can see over here there's a guy getting lifted into the air. And it's like just getting pulled 30, 20, 30 feet in the air, just way up in the air. And just going really fast. And it's also too. It's a car. And just getting out of the air is rad. It's good fun, eh? It's good to get outside. Um, today, uh, two to three metres square. And some of for example, there, that's about. $800. Cards stainless steel. When they're on the beach, they just steer it with your feet and um, just can power it with your hands. Off, dropping it into the power, so it's giving you a good nudge along. Then you can just take off the power a bit once you get the speed up. And just you go low, foot high up in the air, you'll just slow. Um, well, we haven't had. Sort of thing is pretty wearing pretty on safety gear. How how hits you in the head? You want to in the head? Yeah, absolutely safe. Concerned? Haven't got any land you more work, so we can like start working in about one notch up to and or as they um ten. That's the difference there, but land yachts are a much more Thing. It's like having a uh, hundred foot of line straight. Um, the good thing is the whole lot packs down to a suitcase, so you can just pack the car. Whereas, you'll see hundred dollars. So, for um, lines and all the safety gears, you look thousand dollars. Pretty cheap compared. To, it's like top of the line stuff too. I mean, you can like this quite cheap. We found is Muir, got um, 50 kilometres of back sand, and uh, we are on head up how far we can get. Which is flat sand, which is all the west coast beaches. So a lot of people down the south line, all that thing. But yeah, as long as we have low tide and a bit of wind, we'll be out. Into this kind of thing, sort of bloke, our accountant or anything like. That. More your hardcore radical dudes like ski and jumpers and bungee jumpers, that sort of deal. But it's cool to get into it, eh? After that, we might get a bit of tag, which is like normal tag. You've got to touch each other while you're racing your buggy. So it's quite cool. Um, the good thing is, um, you can the other guy and catch him. I was up the buff, up here with a feet point sit, just motoring it. It's really, it's really relaxing. 
really good when the wind's like this. I've been flying the big royals for 16 years now. Um, for another sent some back from England just after they were first produced. Like that. Um, I've built a stack of my own. Six, seven of my own I've got now. I've got enough condition. Well, I just like the speed and the wind in your face and here. And, uh, I just no one no one in your way.